Hi, 7th graders. Hope you're doing okay on these hot days. Here's a second lesson on angles. From last lesson, hopefully you're doing these in order. It doesn't make sense to jump forward on these particular ones. Um, we talked about supplementary and vertical angles. So let's start with vertical. Vertical angles are the ones across from each other. So they are these two. They are going to be equal. They're the same value. So if you know that this one over here is 67 degrees, then you know that this one is also 67 degrees. And it doesn't have to just go across. It could also go up and down. Any of the two across on an X are vertical from each other. Supplementary make a straight line. So these two angles together make the straight line and they are going to add up to 180 degrees. So once you know that one of them, so for example, let's say this one was 100, we say what makes the 180? It would have to be 80 and 100. So vertical are the ones across from each other, supplementary are the ones next to each other on a straight line. Okay, rather than just having one X, we now talk about parallel lines cut by a transversal. So here are our parallel lines. They're like train tracks that will never cross. And then a transversal is just a fancy way to say the line that is cutting it. So these are parallel lines, oops, parallel lines cut by a transversal. How many angles are they making? They're making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's start with a vertical. Vertical angles are the ones across from each other. So I'd like you to think about what is vertical to C. And I'm going to put an equal sign because I know they are the same. So which one is across from C? If you look at the X, here's C. Across from it is B. What is across from D? So across from D is A. Let's try the bottom set. What is across from G? So here is G. That would be F. They're the ones that make the X across from each other. Um, I call them the kissing angles. They look like two fish that are just kissing there. And our last pair, H, which one is across from H? That would be E. Okay, let's try this with supplementary. Supplementary are the ones next to each other on a flat line. So just being next to each other is not enough but we need that flat line. So for example, here's a flat line and these two, A and B. Now I'm not gonna put an equal sign between because they are not equal. What they do is they add up to 180. So what's our another pair? That would be C and D. But now also realize it doesn't have to go sideways. It could go up and down. So here's a flat line and here are two angles. So A and C also make 180. Uh, what could we put with F? So F and E make 180. And then if I want to go the other way, F and H would make 180. And those two are supplementary. Okay, so the new pairs that we're going to talk about in this lesson are called alternate interior and alternate exterior. So let's start with alternate. If I have a seating chart and I alternate you boy, girl, so I make the seat so it goes boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, what does it mean to alternate? It means every other. Okay, so now what is interior and exterior? Interior, an interior decorator is somebody who decorates the inside of the house, the interior of your body is your blood your muscles so that is every other inside and exterior the exterior is the outside so the exterior of your house is the the bricks or the siding the exterior of your body is the skin so we've got every other inside and every other outside so a a is on the outside of these parallel lines. So I'm not looking at anything in the middle here. I'm just looking at the outside. What is the one that is every other? So it wouldn't be next to it because if I was going like boy, girl, boy, girl, it would not be that one. Likewise, it would not be this one. So it's every other, it is the A and the H. And they are equal, they are going to be the same. Now I could do the other ones where I have my X's here. The B is every other from the G. So they're on the outside and they're every other from each other. Let's see. 
out. Let's talk about the uh, interior. So if we're talking about interior, we're not looking at the outside at all. So let's cross off the outside ones. So if I start with C, I don't want the one next to it, so that would be D. I don't want the one on the same side, that's E. So the one across from it, every other would be F. Which one matches up with D? I don't want the one next to it. I don't want the one on the same side, that is E. So those purple ones are the inside the train tracks, inside the parallel lines, and the other ones are the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna write it abbreviated, but I'm gonna say it for you here. So alternate exterior, which one is alternate exterior to one? So I'm looking outside, not the one next to the one, not the one on the same side. So not in the middle, not next to, not on the same side, that leaves eight. Okay, let's do alternate exterior for seven. So I'm not looking inside. I don't want the one next to it. I don't want the one on the same side. That is two. And please notice, I'm being very deliberate with that equal sign. They are equal to each other. Okay, alternate ex, uh, interior. So I'm going to abbreviate it just for the writing here. Uh, pick something on the inside, like six. So I'm going to cross off all the ones that are outside the uh, parallel lines. I don't want the one next to the six. I don't want the one on the same side as the six. And that leaves the three. Okay, and then alternate interior to four. I don't want the outside. I don't want the one next to it. I don't want the one on the same side. That leaves five. Let's just do a quick vertical. What would be vertical to six? If you said seven, you are correct. Let's do a quick supplementary. What, uh, what would be supplementary to three? So supplementary is next to, so I could say four, or I could say one. Okay, there's one other set of pairs I'd like to talk about corresponding. So corresponding means that it is in the same spot on the other line. So if I could pick up this whole set and drag it down here, which one would match up? Now I can do this a lot easier on the board because I like to use my fingers to show you. I put my fingers on A, B, C, and D and then just slide my hand down in what's in the same spot. Hopefully we can get that idea across here verbally and with this writing. So what's in the same spot as A, if I bring it down? A and E are both in the upper left. If I dragged e, A down, it would be on top of E. What is in the same spot as C? If I bring that down, C and G are in the same spot. And since they're in the same spot, they're going to be equal. What's in the same spot as B? If I bring the B down, that is going to give me F. And our last one is D. If I bring the D down, what would be the same spot? Would be the H. They are corresponding. They are in the same. Do you notice how that top set up here looks just like that bottom set down here? It's just slid down. So in the same spot on the other line. Okay, let's try a few of each of those. Again, I'm going to abbreviate. Um, but I'm saying it out loud for you. So corresponding, what is corresponding to six? If I picked up the six and moved it up, what is going to be in the exact same spot as the six? Two. And for the record, if I'm going too fast here and you'd like to try answering on your own, you can absolutely uh, pause the video and try to answer. So what's in the same spot as four? If I bring it down, Four and eight are in the same spots. Okay, let's do a uh, alternate interior. What's alternate interior to four? So I'm not looking outside. I'm not looking next to it. I'm not looking on the same side. Four and six are both inside and they're every other from each other. Okay, what is alternate Exterior to two, not looking inside. 
not next to it, not on the same side. So that leaves eight. And please notice those are all equal. What is vertical to four? So vertical is across from it, so that would be two. And what is supplementary to four? How about three? Four and three make a nice pair there, and you could have also gone uh, up and done four and one. So I know that's brief in class. We usually do a whole lot more, and I get to see how well you're understanding it. You know, certainly feel free to watch this video again, but you can give it a try on homework 6.2. So remember our key vocabulary words.